everyone, welcome back. I'm Atenas and this is Mode Bespoke. This video is part two for our reindeer tea towel. So if you just clicked on this video tutorial and you haven't watched part one, look for it down in the description box below. I will link it so that way you can check out the beginning part of the pattern and catch up with us here on part two when you're ready. So let's get started. ready to complete row number 19 so this is what it's going to look like once you've completed um, the row here is our chart so let's take a look at this real quick so we're going to be reading this chart from left to right on this row so if we take a look at our tree we're going to be losing a stitch on either side so we've got one less white stitch we move on to the reindeer nothing changes here in the front but in the back we have to add another stitch so those are all the changes we need to make on this row so remember to start your row with a chain one, turn your work around, and then we're going to start stitching here until we get to the first white stitch or the first ivory stitch on the tree. So here we go. We need to turn this first stitch into a red stitch. So because we lose a stitch on either side. and then we crochet the rest of the branch. So here we go, need a little more yarn there. And then we lose a stitch, so crochet until you have two white stitches left, or ivory stitches. Sorry, in the, we're, I'm also filming the Spanish tutorial too, so I keep calling it white in Spanish. So here we go. So this second to last stitch is our color switch. Our last stitch becomes a red stitch. And then we just keep crocheting in red until we get to the reindeer. So I'm leaving some loops here in white, so I need to tighten that, that ivory yarn a little bit. So once you reach the reindeer, so here's the front of the reindeer. We said we didn't need to make any changes here to the front. So all we have to do is crochet the body of the reindeer. Oh, I was supposed to make that a color switch. So let me go back and fix this real quick. Go. Oop. This stitch is just not working for me. There we go. So we're ready to crochet the body of the reindeer. Now once you get to the end, remember that you have to add one more ivory stitch here at the back. So this last stitch is going to be our color switch because we added one additional stitch. So now you just crochet your last two stitches. Two or yeah, because we had to add an extra stitch. So yes, your last two stitches are in red. Chain one, turn your work around, and you're ready to start your next row. All right, so row number 20 is gonna start to look like this. Here is our chart. Let's go over it together real quick. We have two stitches in red, one in ivory, and then we have all of these stitches now in red. We're gonna have two stitches for, um, or in white, so two stitches in white for the neck. And then if we move on to the tree, we're adding a stitch to either side of the branch. So those are all the changes we're gonna be making. It's a few changes here. So let's get started. You're gonna chain one, turn your work around, and we're gonna get started here with the reindeer. So we have two red stitches. So we have one, two. That second one is your color switch. So 
And then we have one in ivory. This one is going to be a color switch. And then we're going to have several stitches here in red. If you need to take a moment to count them, go ahead and do that. But we know we just need two stitches for the neck. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to crochet in red until we have three white stitches left. So see, we've got three stitches. On this first stitch, we're going to crochet that in red and we're going to do our color switch. So we go to ivory. And we have two stitches in ivory for the neck. So here's the first one. That second one is a color switch. And then we're going to crochet a few stitches here in red until we get to the tree. So remember, we have to add a white stitch on either side of the tree. So crochet in red until you have two red stitches left right before the tree. On that first one, you're going to do your color switch. That last red stitch is going to turn into a an ivory stitch and then you just crochet the rest of the branch and we have to add a stitch at the end of the row go and now we do a color switch And you complete the last few stitches here left until you get to the reindeer again. Remember to just do the one stitch for the tail in ivory. Go ahead, complete your repeat. I just crochet until you get to the reindeer again. Repeat all of the stitches we just did, and I will see you again for row number 21. All right, so we are now working on row number 21. And as you can see for row 21, we're just going to work in red until we get to the neck of the reindeer. We have to add a stitch so we can start shaping the face. And then if we look at the tree, we're going to lose a stitch on either side. So we're going to make the branches just a little more narrow. So remember to chain one, turn your work around, and we're going to start. So we're going to read the chart this time from left to right. So we're going to start with a tree. So work a red stitch until you get to that very first white stitch of the tree crochet that in red since we are losing a stitch do your color switch on that stitch and then you're going to work white stitches until you have or ivory stitches I should say you're going to work in ivory stitches until you have two stitches left so here we go there are two stitches left the second to last one is going to be our color switch And then that last one, we're going to crochet that in red. And now we just have to crochet until we get to the face of the reindeer. And since we're going to be adding a stitch in the face, so that way we can create um, or expand the neck a little bit so that it actually starts to look like a reindeer's head. We're going to crochet in red until we have two stitches left in the first stitch. So that second to last stitch, we're going to do our color switch. On that last red stitch, we're going to turn that into an ivory stitch. Cut a little more yarn here. And then we do the two next stitches. So we have one, two. That is going to be our color switch. And the rest of the row is crocheted in red. So we don't have any more color switches left for the rest of this row.
There we go. Chain one, turn your work around, and we're ready for row number 22. All right, so we're ready for row number 22. So if you take a look here at our chart, we just have to crochet a lot of stitches in red until we get to the face of the reindeer. We have to add a stitch in the front. And then when we move on to a tree, we're gonna lose a, an ivory stitch on either side. So we're only gonna crochet three. So chain one, turn your work around and we're ready to begin here. So you're just gonna crochet in red until you get to the face of the reindeer. So let's get these stitches real quick. So once you reach that first white stitch, we're going to do our color switch. And we're going to crochet the three ivory stitches of the face, and then we have to do one additional stitch. So we're going to end up with a total of four ivory stitches. Here's our color switch. And then we just crochet in red since we are decreasing so I guess we're not really decreasing we're just yeah I guess we are we're removing a white stitch from the branch so we're just gonna crochet in red until we get to that very first white stitch of the tree so we're gonna turn that first stitch into a red stitch that has to be a color switch Here we go and then we crochet three ivory stitches so there's one Two. That third one is a color switch. And then we just crochet the rest of the stitches until we get to the neck of the reindeer again. And then we're just going to repeat the same stitches one more time to complete the row. So complete your row. I'll see you again for row number 23. All right, so with row number 23, we're gonna be starting here going from left to right. With our tree, we are going to be adding two ivory stitches on either side to make our branch wider. And we're gonna add one stitch to the face of the reindeer to make it a little bit wider. And then we have nothing going on here at the back. So chain one, turn your work around, and you're gonna start crocheting on your tree so that you have three stitches left. So crochet until there are three red stitches okay so on that first red stitch you're going to do your color switch and then those last two stitches are going to be in ivory so now we have added two white stitches on either side of our tree and then work until you get to that last ivory stitch on the previous row. And we're going to add two more ivory stitches just to make the branch a little bit wider. There we go. That last one is our color switch. And we have three stitches between the tree and the reindeer's face. So we're gonna have to crochet. So it's one, two, on that third stitch, we're gonna do our color switch. And we're gonna add an ivory stitch here in the front. And then we have four ivory stitches. This is two three, four. That last one is our color switch. All right, now the rest of the stitches for the reindeer's body are all in red. So, because we've got nothing going on here above uh, the reindeer's body anymore. So crochet all of those in red until you get to the tree. Remember that right before the tree, you're gonna, you need to leave three red stitches so that the first one is your color switch and you can change those last two stitches to ivory 
so that you can widen the tree branch. So complete your second repetition of the stitches we just did, and then we can start on row number 24. Okay, so for row number 24, we're gonna start on the antlers here for our reindeer. So we need to work one additional white stitch here, or ivory stitch, above the neck. So we're only gonna do three ivory stitches, and on our tree, we're gonna lose an ivory stitch on either side. So chain one, turn your work around, and we're just gonna crochet in red until we have two stitches left. So crochet until there are two red stitches so that we have enough to do one color switch and then do that added um, stitch for the, for the antlers. So I've got three, there's one more. So once you have your two red stitches left, the first one is your color switch. And then we have three ivory stitches. So one, two, three. That third one is a color switch. And then you're gonna crochet until you get to your tree. So on the tree, we lose a stitch on either side of the branch so that we can make our tree a little bit more narrow. Okay, so there's one last red. Now here's our first ivory stitch. We're gonna do our red color switch right here. So there we go. And then we're gonna crochet these in ivory. We're gonna go until we have two ivory stitches left. So here are the two. This first one we're gonna turn into a color switch. And then the rest of this is gonna be crocheted in red. So crochet again until you get to the neck of the reindeer. Remember that you are having, you have to add a stitch to create the base of the antlers. So I'll leave you to do that. Do your second repetition of the pattern we just did. And I will see you again for, what is it, row number 25. All right, so for row number 25, we're gonna start the antlers. So we've already done the base. We're gonna have to add a stitch over here towards the right side just to make the antlers a little bit wider. We have two red stitches in the middle, another ivory over here, and then for our tree, we lose a stitch on either side, so our tree is only gonna have three ivory stitches. So go ahead, chain one, turn your work around, and get a little bit more yarn. And then you're gonna crochet in red until you get to your first ivory stitch on the tree. And we are we're gonna be losing um, stitches on the branch, so we're gonna crochet this first um, ivory stitch. We're gonna turn it into a red. That's gonna be a red color switch. There we go. And then we crochet three ivory stitches. That third one is a color switch. And then we're gonna crochet until we get to the reindeer's face, or I guess the base of the antlers. And we're not making the first part wider because we're gonna come in close uh, on the face side of the reindeer. So we're not widening it on the front. We're just gonna widen the antlers towards the back. So here's my last red stitch. Crochet that as a red stitch. And that's your color switch. Now we're just gonna do one stitch in ivory, and that's gonna be a color switch since it's only one stitch. And then we have three, uh, sorry, it was two. So it's two red stitches. So one, two with that second one being our color switch. We have one ivory stitch, so that's a color switch. 
and then the remainder of the stitches are in red. So keep crocheting until you get to your second tree. Remember that you are losing a stitch on either side of the tree and then repeat the row, uh, repeat the stitches, I guess we just crocheted until you complete the row. I'll see you again for row number 26. Okay, so we are on row number 26 and we are so close to being finished here. So we just have to add a stitch here on top of the other one. So we're not going, uh, we're not adding a stitch to the left or to the right for the antlers. Our tree, however, we get to add a stitch on either side because we're almost here at the top of the tree. So we just have to add one stitch on either side. So let's get started. So remember to chain one, turn your work around. And we're gonna start on the back of the reindeer. So we just have to crochet red stitches until we get to the first ivory stitch of the antlers. So since we're not adding stitches to the left or to the right, we're just gonna make another stitch above the stitch we made in the previous row. So here's that last red stitch. So that's a color switch. And then we have to crochet one ivory stitch. So that will also be a color switch. There we go. And then we have two red stitches. So here's one. And then two. That second one is a color switch. So here we go in ivory. That is a color switch. All right, so I'm gonna get a little more yarn, a little untangled here as well. Now the next few stitches are all in red. So we have to increase on either side of the tree. So we're just gonna add one. So we're gonna keep crocheting here until we have two red stitches left. So we've got one more here left. So once you have your two stitches, this first one is a color switch. So you crochet it in red, switch to ivory. There we go. So we have that one added ivory stitch. Now we do the three that we had in the previous row. And we have to add one stitch at the end of this. So we're gonna do our one additional ivory stitch, which is also our color switch. And now we're back to red. So continue crocheting in red until you get to the antlers again. Do your repetition for row 26. I will see you for row 27. All right, so we are almost done, guys. We are on row number 27 now. So. We're gonna be decreasing the width of our tree. So we're gonna go down to three white stitches, or three ivory stitches, and then we're gonna move one stitch on the antler. We don't have another stitch here above the second antler, so it's just above this first one, and that's it. Those are all the changes we're making on this row. So chain one, turn your work around, and we're gonna start crocheting here in red. And since we are decreasing, so we're gonna just remove one of those white stitches. So I guess it's not decreasing in the traditional sense of crochet, but here we go. So here we are on the very first white stitch. We have to do one red stitch, which is our color switch. All right, and now we do three stitches in ivory. And then we switch to red here on that third stitch. And now we're just gonna crochet in red until we get to that first antler. So that one, so if you're reading your, your chart, we are reading it from, I think it's left to right for this row. So we're going to be approaching the deer here in just a moment. So we're gonna come on the side of the face so here we go. So we're writing this way. So this part might be a little bit confusing here. So let me get to this part real quick. 
So we have one red stitch, white stitch, red stitch. So we're going to crochet these two stitches in red. Above the white stitch, we're going to have our color switch. So here's one, and then two. Here's our color switch. There we go. And then we do one stitch in ivory, and that is a color switch. There we go. And now the rest of the stitches above the, the reindeer are all in red. So all you do now is just repeat. So remember that you are re um, making this tree just a little narrower so the tree loses an ivory stitch on either side of this, this branch. And then we're just going to move the antler stitch over just one stitch to the left. So repeat this row again. I'll see you for what is this now? Row number 28? So yeah, we'll see you again for row number 28. All right, so we have reached row number 28 and this one and row 29 are the exact same and they are really easy because now you are done with your reindeer. All you have to do now is crochet in red until you get here to the tree and all you have is just one ivory stitch. So it's one here and then one in row 29. The same applies for the second tree and that's it. Then you are going to be done with your half double crochets and you go back to herringbone stitch. So row number 30. So row number 30 is herringbone. 31 is herringbone. 32 is also herringbone. And then you have two more in red. So what you don't see here on my chart, which if you've gone to the website and gotten a chart, yours now is corrected. So they're going to be little dots like this. I had to draw these in because I forgot to before I printed it. So you're going to work half double crochets in this section. So take a look at your chart. It's a repetition of what we did down here. So if you're unsure what to do, go back to that first tutorial where we covered this section. That's all this is. It's just a repetition of it. All of this section is herringbone stitch in red. And then you have one more repetition of all of this. So that's it. At the end, you finish it off with two rows of red herringbone stitch. And there you go. That's all there's to this. So crochet all of this. I'll see you again in a moment once I've crocheted my towel. Um, and then we can cover the border. So I'll show you how to do the border real quick. It's going to be a really simple border. Um, it's just going to help us cover all of these color transitions that we made at the edge of the row. So finish the rest of your pattern. I'll see you again in just a moment. So once you have completed the rest of the tea towel, so you've done this center um, stitch and then you've done all of this section and the other edge, you're ready to do the border. So we're just going to keep it a simple border because we've got a lot of detail going into all of these stitches. So we don't want anything too elaborate for a border because it will just distract from all of this work that we put into um, the design. So we're just going to start by getting rid of the extra yarn so we don't need the, the ivory yarn anymore. So cut a nice long tail and we're going to work just with the red yarn for this border. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and then we're going to start working along this side. So if you notice here at the top you have very clear stitches so they're really clearly defined. On the sides of your tea towel they're not going to be as clearly defined. So you're going to want to pay attention to your spacing because if you space out your stitches too much, it's going to start pulling your work. And if you add too many stitches, it's going to make your work really wavy. So it's going to make it wider and wavy. So it's just something to pay attention to. And we're just going to work a line of single crochets. So that's all our border is going to be. So if you're more advanced, just work single crochets all the way to the other corner. And then if you need to see how to round a corner, just give me a moment and we will work on that together. For those of you who are not sure how to start, go into this next stitch right here. So let me focus this a little bit better. There we go. So we're going to go into this stitch right here. You're going to insert your hook and then you yarn over and you're going to pull your hook out. You're going to have two loops on your hook. So then you yarn over and you pull, pull through both loops on your hook. And that's a single crochet. So I'm not going to go into this next one because they're going to be a little too close. So I'm going to go into this space right after that 
to make another single crochet. So you just yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. See? So just continue spacing them out as evenly as you can. So just a single crochet in every one of the stitches right here until you get all the way to the other side and then I will meet you there. So once you've made it to the other side, so you're at the other corner, we're going to crochet three single crochets in this corner stitch and that's going to create a nice rounded corner. So there's one, two, and then three and all three of these stitches are in the same stitch. So it creates a nice little round here and then you can continue to crochet along the edge of your tea towel. So there you go. So every time you get to one of the corners, look for the middle stitch. So single crochet all along the side, get to the middle stitch and then crochet or like this corner stitch, I should say. So get to this centermost corner stitch and you're gonna make three single crochets and then you keep going. Go around the border as many times as you want just to create a nice little border for your tea towel. So I'll just keep working on mine and show you what it looks like here in a moment when I finish it. So I've crocheted around the tea towel twice now. So my border is two rows in width. So that's where I'm going to stop. So all you do once you are done, so I made it to the corner stitch about where I started um, at the beginning of the border. So I just got to this corner stitch just to make it easier to hide the little knot. So what I'm gonna do now is just chain one and then I'm gonna pull the yarn through. So cut your yarn, leave a nice long tail and then pull it through along with your hook and then just tighten the knot down here. All you have left to do now is go through and weave in all of your ends. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll link a tutorial somewhere up here on the screen so that you can weave in all of these little ends. So that was our first holiday project. We're gonna have another one next week, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I post videos every week. Go check out the online shop, that is modebespoke.com, where you can find a whole bunch of different patterns as well as all of the materials you're gonna to need to crochet this and many other products. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and share if you have enjoyed it. And check out our Instagram page so you can check out all the other projects we are going to be working on and get a preview for all the things we're going to be working on here on YouTube. So go check that out. I will see you all again next week.